Hi there, it's Wade McMaster here from creatorimpact.com. Uh, this video I want to today I'm going to talk about what the difference is between a blog post and a page on your website. Now, um, this is not really something. Uh, it really depends on what level you're at as to whether this video is going to be useful to you because it's, it is basic information. But there are a lot of people who are still they're, they're just trying to learn how a website works, and um, basically they're at that point where people are saying the word post or the word page and there's just there's a very difficult sort of uh process of trying to figure out what that means what the difference is between a page and a post so i thought i'd put together this little video and uh, actually sort of show you on a website or even a few websites uh exactly what the difference is so we're going to start off this is actually my uh creator impact website as it is currently while i'm making this video and at the moment we're on my home page now um obviously this is being a homepage, it is, yes, it is a page. You can see there's a lot of information here, and there's a link here to an article, which is actually a blog post. So the way that works, it's um, the blog, a blog and the word post. They sort of like uh, work hand in hand. If you were to take this website and remove the blog, so let's pretend the blog isn't here. The blog's gone, that blog post is gone. We don't have a blog. So that would mean that this website has only pages because what a blog is a blog is basically uh, it's kind of like a journal where as I write articles or write entries the newest go to the top in this uh, index page this is my blog so when people are here they're looking at this is the most recent article that I wrote as a blog post this is the second most recent article I wrote as a blog post and so on but if you remove the blog from the equation and go through, you'll see I've got a few pages here. I've got like my about page. This is just simply a page where I talk about who I am. Most of my pages are up here in this menu. And I've created these pages that are just, I can link them up, I can do what I want. I can basically organize the document that is my website into a series of pages that people can go between. But now, let's say... I decide that I need to add something to my website. I need to stop creating pages and try and figure out ways to link them up. What I need is kind of like a latest news page or some kind of um, area where I'm going to post a lot of helpful tips, but I don't want to try and fit into my navigation. I don't try and, f try and figure out where to link to it. I just want to be able to add this information like, like just like it was you know, today's news. I want to be able to add it and just have it appear as the latest entry on the page. Well, that is ex essentially what a blog is. So if I go to the blog button here, as I said before, my most recent article is this one on blog design. And the reason why it works, see this blog page here is still a page. It is a page on the website titled blog, and it actually lists my blog posts. I've got about 100 blog posts on this website at the moment. If I go down to the bottom of this blog page, you'll see there's older entries. If I click on that, it'll reload, and then it'll bring the next 10 most recent articles up. So what happens if I click on one of these articles? So what you're viewing at the moment is a post. This is a blog post. It's an article that doesn't exist in my page structure. It exists entirely within my blog section. However, it does have its own address. If I go to the top, it has its own address just like a page would. It functions almost identically to a page, except that the idea is it's a part of my blog. So you can see here, I've got some information in a video. It is essentially, it is just, it is a page, but it's called a post because the main difference is that it sits in the blog. It is designed to be part of your blog or your news page or the latest page, whatever it is on your website. So when I go into my back end, the back end of my website, which I won't do in this one, I'll go uh, here. This is my web design page. If I'm in WordPress and zoom in a little bit, we've got pages here, we've got posts here. Now you'll see under posts here, we've got, I can add a new post and I've got categories. So I click on my categories I can actually categorize my blog posts as well. I can make them about business and money making, uh, art, my portfolio. Uh, this is I haven't put together my categories very uh, in a very structured way in this site, but it gives you an idea. So that way, if I want to, if I have a news site, such as if I go to say the Huffington Post, now this is the extreme version of a blog. 
So depending on when you watch this, uh, it's currently, uh, you know, the 6th of May, 2021, I record this video. But um, this is essentially a news site with a whole bunch of news articles. The Huffington Post is actually a blog. It functions like a blog and every single entry. So I go here, we're viewing a blog post. And the way these pages work, now there might not be an about page here, but as you can see, we've got categories. Coronavirus is a category. News is a category. Entertainment is a category. If I go to this entertainment category, then we get a list of posts in the entertainment category. They've just laid it out in such a way that there's a lot of posts on the page because there's so much that they're trying to push being a news site. Um, now, I haven't actually checked this out yet, but what well, you can see here, they've got their categories down the left here as well, but then they've got pages such as terms and privacy policy over here. So if I actually go back, back to my uh, blog page, so you see here, we've got our blog posts. So these are all entries that end up on my blog. Where it's the pages section, you can see we've got posts and categories. We've even got tags, which is like keywords you can link to some posts. Uh, I'll go, go into that. It's not really that important. But with pages, there are no categories. The pages are there, but the difference is with pages, I can actually have some pages be sort of like sub under that page. So I can actually make, um, say, a page about graphic design and put business card design and pamphlet design as uh, kind of like a sub section of that of the graphic design page and things like that because it's more something I want to set up navigation for so if I go to my actual website here you see I've got pages here services underneath services if I click that I've got some more sub pages underneath that which is web design logo design graphic design but I don't have any links to any blog posts unless I go to my blog And you can see I have some blog posts here. So I hope that kind of makes sense. A post is essentially an entry for your blog. So it's like writing an entry into a journal or like entering a page into your diary. Uh, it's just essentially you're creating a snippet or a page of information. And every time you add one, the newest one is sorted to the top and people can go to the home of your blog, your blog page, or you can call it news or latest, whatever you want to call it, and see from newest to oldest your posts as they are entered into your blog and the rest of the website is composed of your pages and uh, it's sort of like that's the main difference and then basically the idea from that is that so if you're running a blog every time you create a page you have to structure that into your website but whenever you're creating a blog post it'll appear here so that way every time you're editing your website if you know what you want to do if you're looking just to put an article up some kind of news or update you know to create a blog post or just a post but if you want to create a section for your website that is more sort of uh universal and isn't considered an update or in some kind of news item or even an article on your blog but just a page an about page or something like that then yes you create a page and you can link to blog posts directly from pages, but um, essentially that's the core of it. How well, everything else that you do is up to you. You can link to them just like you can a page if you want to. You can even add blog posts into your menu if you want to, but most people don't. The idea being that it's all under your blog. So anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope that has helped uh, some of you guys out there today. Um, a lot of people ask me this question more than you probably think. So I thought it'd be good to make this video to kind of explain that and um, hopefully that makes sense to you. And um, if not, please leave a comment below uh, and uh, we'll see if we can answer some questions and then maybe even produce a more up-to-date video explaining it a bit better. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video. Uh, if you do, if you like it, if this helps you understand the difference between a page and a post, please give the video a like. If you want more information on building a website or just running, getting your brand online, consider subscribing. We'll have more videos like this coming out. And otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.